ahead of the International Red Cross has urged President Barack Obama to do more to help the detainees at Guantanamo Bay. Peter Maurer highlighted the issue of force feeding inmates who are currently on a mass hunger strike. He says the protest shows the situation there is unsustainable. The issue of, Gu of Guantanamo is politically blocked in this country. One important message I brought to all my U.S. interlocutors uh, when coming to Washington to, uh, over the past few days was also that this is an untenable blockage, that they should put all their energy uh, at administration and in Congress, put their energy and political energy into finding a new compromise which moved the delicate issues forward. Well, the hunger strike at Guantanamo Bay has now entered its third month. Rights activists across the U.S. have been demanding the closure of the facility. It has once again raised the issue of President Obama's commitment to shutting down the detention center. Rosalind Jordan has more now from Washington. Obidala has been a detainee at Guantanamo Bay for 10 and a half years. He's been on hunger strike for the past 64 days. His lawyer says he's lost at least 18 kilograms, a quarter of how much he used to weigh. His hunger strike has continued uh, in protest to the retaliation that the guards have taken against the prisoners at Guantanamo. The detainees claim prison guards have conducted invasive searches and defiled their Korans. The U.S. military denies the charges. Where both the military and the detainees' lawyers agree is that ultimately the 166 men at Guantanamo are frustrated because the prison is still open. But U.S. President Barack Obama hasn't been able to close the facility despite his pledge to do so and in spite of congressional opposition to his plans. It's only because more than 40 detainees are on a hunger strike that the issue is even being addressed by the administration. The president remains committed to closing Gitmo for national security reasons. Critics say it's time for the White House to use some of its political capital on Guantanamo to try detainees in U.S. courts, to house them on U.S. soil, and to set free those who haven't committed a crime. We are extremely worried about him putting his life in jeopardy. He is willing to do so if it's the only way that he is going to finally be provided a trial. The White House blames Congress for blocking every possible way of closing Guantanamo. But for the detainees, this is a matter of whether anyone in the U.S. government is paying attention to their demands for due process and fair treatment. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera, The White House.